Welcome to this Python challenge called Password Checker. You can access it at the web address that now appears on the video. Now, the aim of this challenge is to write a piece of Python code that will check how strong your password is. And the code will take one input, which is the password that we want to check, and then work out the score of this password based on four different rules. And you can see the rules on the screen. Rule number one says that for a password to be strong, it needs to contain both lowercase and uppercase characters. And if so, we're going to add 10 points to the score. Rule number two says that if a password contains numbers and letters, then we can add an extra 10 points. Rule number three, the password contains at least one punctuation sign. That would add another five points to the score. And finally, the last rule is to check the number of characters. If it's at least eight characters long, then we're going to add an extra five points. And then at the end, the program will output the score of the password. Now we've already started the code for you and you can see it by scrolling down. Now looking at this code on line three, we've got the input where we're going to retrieve the password typed by the end user and we're going to store it in a variable called password. On the next line, line four, we are initializing the score to the value zero. Then we've got a piece of code to check whether the password contains a lowercase character. And that is done by using a Boolean value that to start with, we assume that the password does not contain any lowercase character. So we set it to false, but then we're going to use a for loop to check every single character of the password one at a time. And line nine and 10 belongs to this for loop. So they will be repeated for as many characters we've got in the password. What line nine is doing is, is checking whether the character belongs to the lowercase alphabet. And if that's the case, then we can overwrite our Boolean because we found a lowercase character. And it's going to repeat that for every single character of the password, thanks to the for loop. At the end, if lowercase is true, then we can safely say that the password contains at least one lowercase character. Okay, so we're now going to repeat all of this to work out if there is an uppercase character. So I could copy this whole code again and repeat it this time with uppercase, but I'm going to save a bit of time here and I'm going to use the same for loop for both lowercase and uppercase character. So what I'm going to do is have a new Boolean that will check whether we found an uppercase character. I'm going to set it to false to start with. Now, when I check if a character is lowercase, if that's not the case, so I'm going to use an otherwise statement, an else, elif, if my character is in the uppercase alphabet. So I'm going to put the alphabet here, but this time in uppercase. And in that case, I'm going to overwrite my uppercase Boolean to true. At the end, I can use the same process to display a message to the end user. So if my uppercase is true, and then I can display the message. Print your password contains at least one uppercase letter character. Now remember what we're trying to do here is um, give 10 points if the password contains both lowercase and uppercase characters. So I'm going to be able to use an if statement here. If both lowercase is equal to true and uppercase is equal to true, then I'm going to add 10 point to my score. So score equal itself plus 10. Now the last thing we need to do is display the score to the end user. So I'm going to remove this last comment here and I'm going to replace it with a print statement where I'm going to display the score. Now I'm going to concatenate the score here, but remember my score is an integer value, so I need to use the str function to make it a string.
Okay, let's try this code to see if it works. Type your password. I'm going to type a password that contains both lowercase and uppercase characters. And you can see here, I've got my two messages in my output window, and I've got my score is now at 10 points. If I try this code with just lowercase characters, my score should remain zero. Perfect, that's working fine. So we can now look at rule number two. Let's scroll up to find out what this rule is. The password contains both numbers and letters. So um, we're going to use a very similar approach here. We're now going to work out if the character is not one of the 26 letters of the alphabet, but one of the 10 digits from zero to nine. So I'm going to write down here, number equal false. To start with, we're going to assume that uh, there is no digits, no numbers. And when I scan through all the characters of my password one at a time, I'm going to have um, another ELIF statement. So if it's not a lowercase letter, if it's not an uppercase letter, then maybe it's a digit. So I'm going to put if the character is in, and this time I'm going to use the digits from zero to nine. And in that case, I have found a number. So I'm going to overwrite my Boolean to true. Okay. And once again, I may want to display a message. If number equal true, print your password contains at least one number. And in that case, I can also check, uh, implement my rule number two. Now for rule number two, I want letters and numbers to get the points. And letters could be either a lowercase one or an uppercase one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an if statement, but it's going to be a little bit more complex. I'm going to say if number is true and and because I've got two options here, either a lowercase or an uppercase, I'm going to use some brackets and I'm going to say if number equal true and lowercase equal true or uppercase equal true. Because in that case, I know I've got at least one letter. Whether it's uppercase or lowercase doesn't, ma doesn't matter anymore. And in that case, I'm going to add 10 points to my score. Okay, so let's try this new rule. I could try um, a password that only contains numbers. That shouldn't give me any points. But if the password contains both letters and numbers, then I've got, um, I've got 10 points. And that should work if the letters are in uppercase. And finally, if I've got a mix of lowercase, uppercase, and numbers, then I should have 20 points. So for instance, pass one, two, three, four, word in uppercase. And that gives me 20 points. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to look at rule number three. Rule number three says that if the password contains at least one punctuation sign, we get an extra five points. Now to do so, I'm going to use a very similar approach. Punctuation is going to be my Boolean. To start with, I assume it's false. And I'm going inside my for loop to add one more case here. Now I could use an elif and say elif character in and then list all the punctuation signs I can think of. Or I can say, well, if the character is not a lowercase letter, it's not an uppercase letter, it's not a digit, then it can only be a punctuation sign. So I'm just going to use an else statement for any characters that doesn't meet any of the first three criteria, that has to be a punctuation sign. So here I'm going to put punctuation equal true. And I'm going to use my same if statements over there. If punctuation equal true, your password contains at least, oh, I didn't realize I made a typo here, at least one punctuation sign. I've done a copy and paste here to save a bit of time. Perfect. 
and I still need to add five points. So I'm going to put if punctuation equal true score equal score plus five. Starting to be a long piece of code here, but we now have three rules fully implemented. Let's try those. I'm going to try pass one, two, three, word, question mark. And effectively, it's telling me that I've got the punctuation sign and my score is now 25 points. So that's working as well. Perfect. And we've got one final rule, which is different to the other three. It's not about the, the inside of the password. It's about how many characters it contains. Um, and to do that, we only need one if statement. Uh, at the very end, we don't need to scan through the list of characters. All we have to do here is before we display the score um, at the very end of the program, is to check the length of the password. And we can do so using the len function in Python that returns the number of characters of a string. So if the len of the password is greater or equal to eight, then we're going to add five points to our score. And we are going to display a message as well. Print your password is at least eight characters long. So that's quite an easy rule to implement because we have a len function in Python that works out the number of characters of a string. Okay, and that's it. That should be our code now fully working and we're going to test it. So what we've got, uh, if we scroll down, we have a test plan with lots of different passwords which are more or less secure and hence have a different um, score. Now let's try with um, this one here, this one is five points because the only rule that is met is the last one. It has eight characters at least. So I'm going to copy this password, see whether it gives me five points as well. Perfect, my score is five. So I can say that the output, um, I'm just going to put pass here because I've got the same as the expected output. Uh, I'm going to try um, this one here. And this one should give me 10 because it's got a mix of lowercase and uppercase letters, as well as, sorry, so it should be 15 because it's also eight characters long or more. So I'm going to put pass here because I did get 15 points as expected. Uh, let's look at a stronger password that is at least eight characters, lowercase, um, uppercase and numbers and the score is 25. That's another pass. I'm just going to do one more and I will let you do the last two. So this one is a very strong password. It has a mix of punctuation signs, lowercase, uppercase, and numbers. So it's a maximum score, 30 points. Perfect. So the whole code is now fully working. All my test seems to be um, working fine. I've got two more to do but I'll let you do that. Um, and then once you've done everything, you can save your work. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a go at uh, completing this code because we're learning how to scan through a list of all the characters of a string using a for loop. And then we've used a lot of if statements in our code um, to make decisions. Enjoy your coding, bye for now.